Welcome to the famous Red Lion Theatre for the first annual London Theatre Awards. I'm Will Kemp, yeah? I'm brilliant, by the way. Oh, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you all. All thinking, oh, I really hope I win. <laughs> what for? For being rubbish at acting. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between you lot and Mary Queen of Scots? She only died horribly in front of a large crowd once. <laughs> <laughs> I see Sir Francis Drake's just been buried at sea off Cadiz in full armour. I bet he went down better than most of you lot. <laughs> I think he's misjudged the mood of the room. I think he's brilliant. So dry. So edgy. But he's just being rude. Anyway, lovely to be here. Well, what I mean is, lovely to be paid to be here. Can't think of any other reason. <laughs> Unless you're some desperate old lovey kiss, he'll go anywhere for a free drink. Like most of you lot. <laughs> Why are they laughing? He's saying they're all desperate. Oh, he's just so out there. He just doesn't care. Such a cooling dude. He's just being arrogant and unpleasant. He's just so dry and edgy. He's not dry and edgy. He's just slagging everyone off for being a pampered lovey kissy. Even though, beneath the thin veneer of post Renaissance ironic cool, he's the biggest pampered lovey kissy of the lot. And if there's one thing more irritating than being a pampered lovey kissy, attending a gala evening for pampered lovey kissies, being slagged off by a pampered lovey kissy, it's having all the other pampered lovey kissies in the room pretending to be wryly amused and in on the joke in the desperate hope that it'll make them look less like pampered lovey kissies. Well, I like being a pampered lovey kissy. I amuse people for a living and never killed anyone. And when I win all my interestingly shaped statuettes tonight, I'm not going to pretend that I think that everyone else is as good as me, because I don't. And I'm not going to bang on about suffering and poverty, because it's neither my fault nor in my power to change. I'm going to whoop and cheer and possibly do a little victory dance, because I'm blooming best that I want a prize. So, first bit of pointless self-congratulation. Sorry, I meant award. <laughs> it's the best revival. And to present it, we've got an actor who has done a lot to stop starvation. Yeah? By eating all the pies! <laughs> Please welcome Dickie Burbage. Uh. <laughs> and the nominations for best revival are... Richard III, by Will Shakespeare, currently enjoying its fifth triumphant season in London repertory. Oh, God, I so didn't expect to win this. I haven't prepared a speech at all. And Firebacon and Firebungay by Robert Greene, performed for one night only at the refectory in the Inns of Court. What? And the winner is Robert Greene, Firebacon, Firebungay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mr Shakespeare. I know you wanted to win so much. Nonsense. Like it matters. As if. It's all crappage anyway. Besides, that was only for a revival. I'll win everything else. The nominations for Best Tragedy are Julius Caesar by Will Shakespeare. And the winner is... Robert Greene, Friar Bacon and Friar Bungay. Nominations for Best Comedy, Much Ado About Nothing by Will Shakespeare. The winner is... Robert Greene, Friar Bacon and Friar Bungay. <laughs> In a male role, Richard Barbage for Fry Bacon in Robert Greene's Fry Bacon and Fry Bacon. Will Kemp as Ralph Simnel in Robert Greene's Fry Bacon And I intend to make an absolute beast of myself at the after party in his honour.